I saw a protest. I was going out to get, you know, coffee or whatever in the morning, and they were saying it was one of those things where it was like uh, men can have children too, about men can have babies too. And I was like, okay. It was a protest? They're like, uh, yeah, they, they do a thing where, like, you know, the people that say men can't have babies are, like, you know, disrespect, are, like, they're transphobic, all these things. They're terrorists, you know. It's a big thing. College kids believe that men can have babies because they do don't. They mean, uh, do they mean a female that transitioned to a male? Yes. So, but they're saying. But they still have the, their female organs, so they can biologically have a baby? That's what they're saying. Well, it's saying it's possible here. Uh, Robert Winston, um, a pioneer of in vitro fertilization and cigarettes, told London Sunday Times that. <laughs> 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 told London Sunday Times that male pregnancy would certainly be possible by having an embryo implanted in a man's abdomen with the placenta attached to an internal organ such as the bowel. Uh, all that, and then if you're pregnant, you could say I'm having bowel movements. Whoa. Wait, but so a man can get pregnant? I don't understand. Yes. What? Yes. To, to make... All right. Tomorrow, Nashville, me and Sally Babes, the Ryman Auditorium. Then March 18th, I'm in Seattle. 19th, Portland. March 25th, Las Vegas, Nevada. And just real quickly, I have my second comedy special coming out at youtube.com slash Christy Comedy sometime in late March. So subscribe now. I'm very, very proud of it. Directed by the Homeless Pimp. If you're watching this on March 10th, March 11th in Nashville with Chrissy, March 12th at Chattanooga. Then we're going April 15th and 16th, Louisville and Evansville. April 23rd and 24th, Tulsa and Oklahoma City. And then we got May 14th at The Beacon and May 21st and 22nd, San Diego and L.A. SalvoCanoComedy.com. You think, think you got, got it. it. Oh, you, you think you got, got it. But got it, just don't get it till there's nothing at all. We, we get, get together. Oh, we get, get together. But separate's always better when there's feelings involved. If what, what they, they say is nothing is forever. Then, then what makes, makes, then what makes, then what makes, then what makes, then what makes the exception. So why, 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 why are we so in denial when we know we're not happy here? Hey, babe. Whoa. Uh -oh. Hey, babe. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -oh. What's up, babe? How you doing? God bless. God bless, baby. Look at this. Some, I like this sweatshirt. Thank you so much. This is uh, in the it's new, comfy. It's in the merch store now. Is also the New York Cubans your merch? No, but <laughs> I got this as a gift. I got this. Was that a as real a team? My buddy New York what? Was that a real? Uh, it was. When? Yes. When back the in the day, day. So one of the original I think, baseball. I think he said it was Negro Leagues, I think, maybe. And they were called the Cubans. But that doesn't make sense, right? Yeah, because it's Cuba. Right. Unless they were naming them after cigars. I don't know. I don't know. Let, we could Google them. Where's the New York Cubans from? Where are the New York Cubans from? What? Where are the New York Cubans? What? Where New York Cubans' name come from or whatever? There it is. New York Cubans Negro League baseball yeah, team that played during the 1930s and from 1939 to 1950. Shout out. Oh, they played at Tony Hinchcliffe Stadium. Wow. Uh, and the Polo Grounds. New York Cubanos. The Cubano. Um, do, you have a, do you smoke cigars or no? I don't. I tried. I can't get into it. I don't know how to not inhale. Let me ask you this. How do you not inhale? Go ahead, ask me. I've never smoked a cigar in my life. In your life. I've attempted? No, and they say you got to cut off the end of it. I'm like, what do we have to circumcise the cigar yeah, for? Yeah, you do have I to. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. My, my people, my friend, friend, plenty of friends of mine go to cigar lounges. Yeah. It's not appealing to me. My clothes stink. No, it's not I, appealing I don't want to be in there I at all. I feel like I'm in the middle of a fire. What a COVID nightmare a cigar lounge was Right? Been. Just blowing into each other's face. Coughing. Pimp, you ever smoked a cigar? No, I just just weed, just weed. I, I've I've I felt myself missing out because I didn't know how to smoke. Like I've been at events with people and they just everyone lights a cigar and they're all yeah. like, ah, yeah. like you know, yeah. like even Burr has been like, ah, oh, smoke a cigar. I'm like, I don't. Yeah, smoke. I, I don't do things that most like men like. We're getting to the age now <laughs> where it's like we should be doing things like our dads did, like men stuff. Like I don't smoke cigars. I don't play golf. I don't know yeah. how to barbecue. Yeah, I don't know how to fix anything. I don't know how to carve a Thanksgiving turkey. We, like we I'm not are, a real guy. We are identical. 
Yeah, like, identical, babe. Does it bother you? Like, I don't do you know get- how to smoke. I golf, not good, but I, I have golfed. <laughs> but it's not good. I, I've, go- I've golfed like maybe once a year for the last 20 years. But so- let, me, let me ask you this. If somebody said, hey, you know, we want to golf, you know, we'll come to the golf uh, range, whatever, come to the course, <laughs> big business meeting, the range, we're going to golf. Okay, the range is just hitting balls. It's of no consequence. But if I had to go in there with people that can golf, yeah. I'm shanking half of my shots. Because, it's not because, like- because Andrew Santino told me, the great Andrew Santino, um, the Red Rock, He's a part of a pretty, uh, you know, like premier golf place. Yeah. Golf. What do they call golf clubs? Country club. Uh, country, club country club in um in L.A. And he said, like, literally, the better you are at golf, like, the better you can go in your it's career. Because if, if you stink at golf, they look at you like, I don't want to even be around this yeah. person. So well, you got to know golf. Well, I'm not necessarily hanging out with those people. Right. But the last person I golfed with was Mariano Rivera. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> and he was Is he me, good? He was good. He's good, man. He's good, right? The, the first game he ever golfed in his life, he beat his friend who took him golfing who was a golfer. Interesting. Does that make sense? Yes. Wow. Well, no, it doesn't. But, yeah, but I would assume that Mariano Rivera can win at anything. I I was on his team. We were playing teams. We were playing like I think it's called like long ball or whatever. Yeah. In a tournament for his charity. Yeah. And he was on my team, and it was a par three. I don't know if you know anything about golf. It was a par three. Meaning you have to have three shots to get in into the hole, or yeah. else you start yeah, to get yeah, negative yeah, yeah, points. Yeah. yeah, correct. Okay. No, it was a uh, sorry. It was a par four, and he drove it so far that it was on the green in one, which is so hard to do. It was it was far. It was a big green, but I w- and I had to putt. And so I was putting for two under par, which is an eagle, which is like crazy rare. Right. Or maybe I wasn't even that far from the hole, really. But anyway, I sunk it. Why don't and we I got know? an eagle? But you think that I'm not a bad person because I don't know about golf. No, you're a bad person for other reasons. God. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> because I don't know how to golf. I don't know how to bowl. I know yeah. you know how to bowl. No, I don't know how to bowl. I thought you were, really? No, I know how to bowl like anyone knows that you pick up a ball and you roll it. You look like if I didn't know you and you gave me one guess as to what your profession was, I would say he owns a bowling alley. <laughs> no way. That would be my pimp. Do you what? get you if, look, I look like I own a bowling alley? But a good one, a really fun one, like one that's really like I'd say you're What's a multi million dollar bowling bowling alley owner. But I don't understand why. Imagine we just started doing things. We ask each other extremely personal questions. Like, what's the most money you ever had in your bank account? Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, you should um, let people send in those questions and yeah, we got to answer them. Just be, yeah. Um, dude, speaking of smoking cigars, do you, have you ever vaped? Well, not vape cigarettes, but vaped weed. Do you understand that vaping, I, I guess, did not know. I guess it's called vaping, right? The pen. Uh, WNBA yeah. star, superstar, yes. Brittany Griner is yes. in Russian prison right now. She may go to jail for years because she had vape cartridges in her bag. My question to you guys is like, I've never vaped, but people who vape, like, isn't that an easy thing to like forget it's in your bag? Like she wasn't trying to smuggle in vape. I forget it in every bag I have. So, so my question to you is if you... If you, if I if I just said pick up your bags we're going to Russia yeah and you went in, and you went into Russia highly likely that you have truthfully a vape cartridge in your bag and yes. you'd be in prison for fifteen years no that's what they're saying Griner is going to go to jail because because now of obviously what's happening with the with the war in Russia and all that they're, they're not negotiating with the United pawn? States and then they're not talking to the U S like there's no extra dish they're like no. why was she in Russia they're like listen she's a Russian uh, a lot of the WNBA players in the off season they play professional basketball in other countries so she's playing in russia but with everything that was going down maybe she didn't think to take those cartridges out of her bag but i think she was trying to come back to the america you think she was targeted because they knew like she was i think that she was i think honestly what happened was she was she left and she she was nervous so she was vaping to calm her down and she forgot they were in a bag and you know that's what happened you you're telling me that she might go to jail for 15 years that's what they're saying for for a substance that's legal here that it doesn't matter a russian prison russian prison Yep. Um, yeah. yeah 15 exactly. years. Or maybe they're putting, giving her 15 years because she's gay. I, I don't know. Russia would do that. Yeah, probably. They seriously would. Like, I don't know. Or maybe because she's a woman even. Uh, yeah, she's a gay woman. Or maybe she's vaping. A, maybe because she's a basketball player. Yeah. Or, or maybe because yeah. she's an American. Yeah. She could get five years for every one of those charges. Every single one of those charges. I love, too, like, I know we're not, it's not a political thing at all, but I love, like, how the United States is just being, like, sanctioning Russia, being like, you, we're not going to show the mass singer 
we're Visa, MasterCard, you can't use your card. We're not going to have TV shows on that you guys love in Russia. They're like, shut up. <laughs> Just do something but, real. But, but the real sanctions are hitting them, right? Yeah, they are. They're hitting them right in the chops. They're now. hitting them right in the, Well, they're hitting us in the chops. Look at the gas price. I know, five bucks. What can you do? You know what's a beautiful thing about this podcast is we, you know, we, as you guys know, we always film this podcast, you know, a little bit, a couple of days before it actually comes out. And the good news is about, about the time of the world we're in right now is, you know, uh, we could be nuked by the time the pod comes out. And this could be the, one of the last transmissions uh the people who find the remnants of us ever here the way it's going could you imagine this was the last thing this this is what people thought <laughs> the world was <laughs> how soon until president Zelensky from the ukraine gets a netflix special will he get who will get one first he's gonna he's me gonna, or Zelensky? i think i think most ukrainian i think if, if, if there's a ukrainian comic they, they should just let him know right now because i mean could you imagine being the president uh, you, it's, it's it is his story wild. is insane yeah you know his wild. story now by now if you you know the the Makes a show about being the president of the Ukraine. Because, that's get then gets elected of, of the actual you, president you, of Ukraine. That's of, wild. of Ukraine, by the way. I've been told to stop saying the Ukraine. It's Ukraine. Uh, uh, but doesn't doesn't it feel natural to say the Ukraine? Or you've never thought to put a the in front of no, it? No, I do. I say I could, I hear the the U, yeah the Ukraine. I've heard that. And uh, I know, went to a, a protest a, a rally with the Ukraine with U, Ukraine when in uh, in Chicago recently. Yeah. Last week, were you just were you? Did I you was set play, out. To I was do playing it? the big shout out Madison, Chicago, great shows, and I went to the. Did you ever go to the Bean? Sure, the Bean in Chicago. That I love like, the Bean. That that, that like shiny. You want to talk bean. about looking fat, bad angles? Yeah, the Bean. I took them all. Everyone there thinks they're a professional photographer. They're, they're not. Like, oh, I'm gonna get this cool shot. I'm gonna get this cool shot. They're I not. did it. But there was a a, 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 U a Ukraine rally there, and uh, we joined and joined in, and it was wild. It was uh, it was organized, but it was it was touching. As it was really touching. Ukraine, Ukraine. A lot of people have been like, "Oh, you know, you've probably." Somebody yelled at me on Twitter the other day. Said, "You probably never even heard heard of Ukraine before this." I said, "I have because my favorite figure skater of all time is Oskana Bayul, right? And she was repping Ukraine, and I was watching. Is it Oksana? Oksana Bayul, Oksana and I Oksana Bayul. It used Oksana to Oksana Bayul. Here, here's you ready for this. Yeah. Here's what it was. It was when I was a kid. I used to watch women's figure skating like it was my job. Like, whoa, yeah. Like, like whoa. Like, yeah. I used to sit down with my mom like, like and pretend I wasn't a gay child, and I would watch yeah. women's figure skating. Triple Oksana Axis. Oksana Bayul, yeah. Christy Yamaguchi. Yeah, Yamaguchi. Katarina Witt. Yeah. I mean. Amazing. 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 Nancy all, Kerrigan, all Tanya Harding. All day long. All Galooly. day long. Pull up women's figure skaters <laughs> in the 90s. I guarantee, I mean, there's some... I mean, I just feel like every time they go up for like a triple axle, they're literally going to fall and their legs going to pop off. Pop right off. Yeah. It's No, see, I don't want to see any of the new people. The new figures get Brian Boitano. I mean, as what would Brian Boitano do? Brian Boitano, he would do backflips. Yeah. And, he was, and Scott Hamilton, they would do backflips. And Brian Boitano. Isn't that a song gay, for South Gay, Park? gay, gay. What? South, some South Park. What would Brian Boitano do? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Yeah. See, none of these people. It's, I, I want to do the 90s. The 90s. I mean, Dorothy, Dorothy Hamill. Hamill was when we were little. She Wasn't was, she in uh, Star she Wars? Was the shiz. No, that's, no. <laughs> that's Mark Hamill. Oh, no yeah. relation? No, no relation. I don't think so. The 90s. The 90s figure skaters. I can't see that. Oh, uh, okay. Who was the best? Oh, Nathan Chen is not the best figure skater ever. How dare you? Um, oh, speaking of sanctions, you know what else, too? Unfortunately, I have bad news that does hit home. Sometimes the sanctions hit your family. Okay. And they hit my family a little bit. The The World Cat uh, Federation has banned Russia. So, unfortunately, Uncle Russell's cat, um, he, he got a couple of gigs canceled. Uncle no. Yes, Uncle Russell is now, unfortunately. The Russell. The International Cat Federation has banned cats with Russian owners due to the Ukraine crisis. So, wow. allegedly, that takes a big, big hit. Away from you know his world. So if, if really? anybody wants to donate to Uncle Russell, just go to GoFundMe.com slash Uncle Russell. Wow. <laughs> I did want to ask out what kind of protester are you? Are you chanting? Are you just marching? I was there. You know, like I wasn't like I wasn't. I didn't want to like chant because like I I'm not. I mean, it was like I didn't want to like. You weren't doing I a bit. I, I didn't want to impede on you know what they were doing and saying. But I did chant. I, I joined along sometimes. Yeah, what was the chant? Do you remember? Uh, it was something about the U.S. helping the Ukraine. U.S. help Ukraine. Yes, it was Ukraine. something like something like that. Yeah, you. I took some video. You can't spell Ukraine super... without a U. That's right. <laughs> have you ever been to a I protest, Chris, at all? Or an I? Uh, or an I? Yeah. Um, have I ever been to a protest? 
<laughs> I've walked into them. Um, <laughs> actually, in Madison, Wisconsin, I was in a pro. I saw a protest. I was going out to get you know coffee or whatever in the morning, uh, morning after the show, and I saw a protest of um, college kids, and they were saying it was one of those things where it was like uh, men can have children too. About men can have babies too, and I was like, okay. It was a protest. They're like, uh, yeah, they they do a thing where like you know the people that say men can't have babies are like you know disrespect are like they're transphobic, all these things. They're terrorists, you know. It's a big thing. College kids believe that men can have babies because they do don't. Do they mean uh? Do they mean a female that transitioned to a male? Yes. So, but they're saying but they still have the their female organs, so they can biologically have a baby. That's what they're saying. Well, it's saying it's possible here. Uh, Robert Winston, um, a pioneer of in vitro fertilization and cigarettes, told London Sunday Times that <laughs> <laughs> told London Sunday Times that male pregnancy would certainly be possible by having an embryo implanted in a man's abdomen with the placenta attached to an internal organ such as the bowel. Uh, oh, that, and then if you're pregnant, you could say I'm having bowel movements. Whoa! Wait, but so a man can get pregnant? I don't understand. Yeah. What? Yes. To, to make fertilization. How? Well, listen. Right they, it's a surgery that lets the baby feed off your intestines. Is that safe? Off your bowel. For you or the baby? I would I would guess no. I well, mean, I, I don't... Why has it not been done or has it? I mean, I don't think that... Yes. Wasn't there a, a, a male pregnant... A pregnant male like a few years ago that but made I the news? But I think that they were born a female. Okay. And kept their uterus okay and then but not a uh, not a uh, a person born with male reproductive organs at birth cannot have a baby right C right i mean unless you're not gonna have a baby out of your penis some animals one day do. god willing oh here we go there it is that's the guy yeah that's the guy this is the guy and he was a guy that was <laughs> that was pregnant i mean that's literally what i look like with my shirt off you know, are you having a fat day today? <laughs> <laughs> I had a fat he day looks, yesterday. He's posing like Demi Moore on the cover of uh, Vanity Fair. Did you just see that uh, headline? Woman gets trapped in cruise ship water side suspended over the ocean. That's terrifying. How did she get trapped in there? A female cruise ship passenger was left high but not dry after getting trapped in, on the attraction's massive water slide overlooking the ocean. That's a video of her unorthodox <laughs> Strandal, stranding at sea currently boasts over 15 million views. On tic That's what we have to do. That's the TikTok. No. Wait, what, what, how is she stuck, though? Why don't she just go? Yeah, how'd you get stuck? Maybe not enough water? Yeah, but just crawl out. Oh, I mean. Yo, oh, here we so go. Funny Look got... at this. Oh, no. Oh, that oh, no. sucks. Oh, that... so... So how does she get? Do they have like a vacuum? How does she get out? Oh my god! Well, they have to definitely dry it, right? So she, she has to crawl. be so nervous. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't would, you be I would terrified? Get immediately claustrophobic on yeah, that. Yeah, because how am I going to get you out of that? Because she can't go up. She can't go back up. That's too steep. No way. So and you and you're not going to be able to. How does this woman get out of this? How did she? I mean, maybe they How has that never happened before either? She didn't even come close to making it. Not even close. Who, she was too skinny. Is this, you is see, this, you is wanted... this a popular song? Oh, yeah, this song? Yeah. These TikTok songs. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Can we play that? Oh, no, I'm going to have to. I'm if she would have had a little oh, no. bit more, she would have had a. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Did somebody ring the bell, by the way? <laughs> oh, really? I didn't hear that. I no, heard wait, somebody so, ring the do bell. Do we have an update? Yeah, yeah what happened to. Uh, what happened? Yeah. How, okay. The clips. Okay. Yeah. I love water go, slides, go, by the way. Me too. But I hate water parks. Okay. It's catch 22. I love nothing more than being on the slide. I love nothing less than traipsing about the park. You don't want to be the park. No. Now, when you walk, now let me ask you are you Especially a walk? out the restrooms. Are you a water shoe guy? I wasn't as in my throughout my life, but in a place like <laughs> disgusting place like that i might if i went in recent days i might have to wear that i'll tell you what i'm more of a water shoe guy than i am a flip flop guy you you'd be you'd have better luck seeing me in a water shoe than a flip 
Yeah. What kind of flip you do? You do the whole foot goes through the arch, or you do it in between the toes? No, because my toes are crossed over like this, so I, right. I have to. I have to. It's very humiliating to have to separate my toes <laughs> to stick them into the thong part. So I rather just put my foot. But then, because my toes are crossed over like this, there is not a sandal I found right. that doesn't rub, rub up against uh, the top, and then I get a rash. I get a blister on the top of my toe. So I'm a water shoe guy. Got it. I'm got a water it. shoe guy. Right. So what happened? Thankfully, she was able to exit the slide without intervention from emergency services. How? It says there's a side door. Oh, they got to figure. For, yeah, but didn't she? Look, that would have. Didn't she her, fall into the, the ocean, ocean? Then, yeah. I mean, they must have had some kind of netting or some. I don't know. That's wild, dude. I would be terrified. There was a time when I got stuck in an elevator, and I it was scary. I got stuck in an elevator in my apartment building I was living in, and my laptop. I had my laptop with me. I don't know why I brought my laptop down with me, and my laptop was so hot it started to get so hot and i was stuck in the elevator for like 20 minutes and i just kept thinking what if this sets on fire right and i'm dying a fire in an elevator were you on your laptop is that why yeah I, I, I had been on it and then i just closed it down and took the elevator up and i was stuck in between i had thought that i was like suspended in it in the air like i thought i was on the 10th floor which is where right. I was, floor I was living on i was in between the first floor in the basement no yeah when i yeah and they had to come get you out they had to come get me out the fire department had to pry open the door like pry pry yeah. it open with like this special key and i was i couldn't believe like how stuck i was in there yeah. it was I, I i was so 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 like beyond afraid i actually don't like even getting in an elevator by myself because i'm like if this gets stuck i feel like even though i know there's emergency buttons yeah, but there's yeah. this panic to be like what if i never right get out which i know is childish and, but in the movies they take off a panel on the roof but i think they're just fucking making it look easy oh uh, boys and girls raycon wireless <laughs> earbuds are back with the hey babe podcast yeah raycon wireless earbuds are the best way to bring audio i with, feel good with Ray you J. yes i, I yeah I feel real good, Ray J. Ray J, because of Raycon wireless earbuds. Today, today. Because no matter how much you shake it up, literally, no matter how much you shake, you know they will not fall out of your ears. And I've tried that. I've put Ray Bud, Raycon earbuds in my ears, and I've shaken my head, yeah. like, um, and it, they never fall you out. You spent a whole weekend doing that once. That's what I did. They fall in. They don't fall out. Their everyday earbuds look, feel, and just sound better than ever. There's also awareness mode for when you need to listen to your surroundings. Oh, I like that. Yes. So you can take Raycons with you wherever you go with optimized gel tips for a perfect in-ear fit. These earbuds are so comfortable, they will not budge. Trust us. Yes, and after eight hours, they offer eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life, dude. It's the best. Right now, listeners can get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash heybabe. That's B-U-Y-R-A-Y-C-O-N dot com slash heybabe. Say 50% on Raycons. Buyraycon.com slash heybabe. Babble, 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 babble. You know, that, you know, did you learn that language on Babel? Yes, I did. You speak in Babel. I speak in Babylonian. Listen. Bang! What language are you hearing? What Babel language are you listening to? We love Babel, babe. Listen, this is a language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. So who are you to say anything about Babel when they got 10 million subscripts? Easy work. Seriously. What do you want to do? You want to learn a new language? What do you want to do? You want to engage in a new hobby? Yeah. What do you want to do? You want to, you want to, you want to go someplace and, and you want to travel more and you want to be able to speak to people when you travel? <laughs> the whole Babbel process is addictively fun, fast, and easy. They teach you bite-sized language lessons for real-world use. 15 minutes That's on the it. go, babes. 15-minute lessons. Get your head out of your ass. That's right. And, and they use real language experts. They do. Other apps do not. They use AI for their plans. They, there's no AI. Yeah, and they, they use the languages like Spanish, French, Italian, German, plus Babel speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. There's just so much stuff to do and ways to learn with Babel. It's like podcasts, games, videos, live classes. How about that, cutes? Whoa, right now when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription. You will get an additional three months free. for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to babbel.com. Use promo code Hey Babe. That's B A B B E L dot com. Code Hey Babe. Babbel. Language, Language for, for life. life. <laughs> I think no. you're screwed if you get in there. Yeah. I got stuck in once, but it was on purpose. They 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 they, they fooled me. On I got show. stuck in an elevator on purpose, but they rigged it. <laughs> 
But I was in there for about an hour. And had no idea what to do, what to say. I was with two other people, and I didn't know that they were plants. One guy had a, a terrible cold. Got he it. was coughing and sneezing all over me, and I actually had words with him. Really? And then another woman had a cat, which I hate which cats. And the cat was loose, and the cat pissed in the elevator. Wow. Right in front of me. And then out of nowhere, it just started to move. Well, they came, and they got the fire department. The fire department was working on it. I thought and they're like banging and everything and so I'm like alright they're here and then at one point I was like asked him a question and the fireman was like uh, just don't worry about it like he, he answered me like an asshole <laughs> and I was like what yeah I was like what did you just say I was like that's how you guys talk to us we're trapped in here yeah and he, he said something and I was like I can't believe this is how the fire department is talking to us and then it opened up of course and I realized that it was all yo one time I was on the elevator with my girl who's like a very feisty Puerto Rican yeah. woman we had Delilah, my she was older starter, but she was young at the time. She was maybe nine months old, 10 months old. I'm sorry, maybe she was a year old. And we lived in like a very trendy building in Park Slope, Brooklyn. If you, it's like very trendy area of New York City, right? <laughs> yeah. Like everybody's hipsters and whatever, yeah. you know, like they're like that. And we get in the elevator. It's, you know, me, Jazz, and our, our little daughter. And she's in the stroller. She's got the binky on, you know, whatever. Get in. Elevator stops at the eighth floor. And this woman, like, like she looked like a professor, like this, like white lady, like professor, like you know, like one of those, like, like a pantsuit. No, she, well, she was a white woman, but she had like dreadlocks. Like she oh, was very much like she looked like. Yeah, yeah. I am of every culture, like very, like you know, woke and just like you know, a, a little obnoxious. And she goes in and she looks at the baby, you know, which is fine. She looks at her like a little bit, like, and then looks at Jasmine, and Jasmine is just like looking at her with like smoke coming out of her ears, because you know, the thing is, is like. Jazz was always like, don't look at my kid. Like, just don't even look at my kid. And I was like, okay. That seems reasonable. Yeah, yeah. So I, <laughs> very so protective, I, very so protective. I, so I could feel like there was some yes. drama about to start. And but I, for no reason, for real? Was, it, looking at, was she looking at your kid with an air of- She looked at her with an attitude. <coughs> Got it. That's the issue. It wasn't like, oh, your kid's so cute. Not that you have to say that, but she looked at her like- Oh, so if she was like, what an adorable baby, Jasmine wouldn't be like- No, of what? course not. No, she looked, she looked at her- What? What? She looked at her up and down and then like looked- and was like staring at judgment. Daughter, judgment. And so she says, we, uh, uh, we're we going down. And then she says to Jasmine, I'm going down. Yeah. You ain't around. Yes. Baby, I, yeah. my the whole world's upside up. down. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Um, so we're going down the elevator, and the woman turns to Jasmine. And she goes, Can I ask you a question? She was like, How old is your daughter? And Jasmine was like, she's one. She goes, she's old, too old for a, a, a binky. Oh, fuck yeah. you. Yeah. She goes, yeah, she's too old for a pacifier. Oh, and don't she, do that. I see, and then Jasmine goes, I'll do whatever I want. It's my baby's mouth. Right. And then and then she goes, yeah, well, it's going to cost. She goes, I work in child care. I would have been like, you're too old for dreadlocks. Yeah, you're too old for dreadlocks, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. And she goes, and she goes, um, I work in child care, and this is going to develop <laughs> bad habits. They, children shouldn't have pacifiers after eight months you should do your research something like that and hand to god i've never been in a situation like this I've never, i didn't even know you could do Jazz this hits the, hits the, that's what she I did i was joking i swear i to was god. joking uh, i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking say you're gonna kill the president <laughs> i should order the burger should, if you know you know what we're doing if you know you know um uh, wait i was she was like that's like a, a bronx tale no now you just can't leave hits the emergency break wow hits the emergency Whoa. part of the elevator i shit myself i was that's why i'm bringing this up because you think be trapped in an elevator yeah. I never, that was the one and only time in my life i've been purposely trapped in the elevator and she jasmine again just very stereotypically just starts taking out her earrings like which is what like latina girls do yes, in the movies. They're preparing they're preparing she goes say something to me now bitch say something to me now and i had to like separate them like it was wild like wild, wild, wild situation. I hit the emergency <laughs> break again. You know, hit the thing again. It takes like five minutes for it. the fire department is called automatically when you hit that. I get down there. There's all firemen in the How lobby. Did you not tell me this story ever before. I don't know. I just only thought about it with the elevator. There's all firemen in the lobby, and we come off, and she goes, 
Jasmine, you know, the firemen are like, what, what happened? Are everyone okay? I was like, I was like, yeah, I was like, you know, she hit the emergency brake and she was, and the fireman was like, it was like an old school, older fireman. He was like, why would she hit the emergency brake? I was like, well, huh? I said, this woman right here told uh, Jasmine that our child was too old to have a pacifier. And she goes, and you really pissed off. Your wife, I bet right? you guy. Was no, like, I said. Oh, I get it. He said. You know, he said. He said. You know, really, I'm supposed to have give you guys like a five hundred dollar fine for you know you pretty much mess with alarm. He goes, I'm not going to give it to you. He goes, I mean, these people in the neighborhood suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And I was like, wow. And then, and then that woman never saw that woman again. We yeah. told the doorman in the building, and he was like, that lady sucks. She fights with everybody. Yeah, I hate but, those. But that woman was probably out of protest. Isn't it weird? That that woman's crazy woke. You're saying she's a white woman. She has dread. She's this. She's that. Yeah. But then, uh, honestly, if you go even more woke, she's she's uh, appropriating. Of course, she but is. She's woke. She's she's as woke as she thinks. There's no rhyme you or reason to it. People. You, if you think you're woke, you're gonna get out woke. Out woke. And just like if you if you want to call somebody out for their behavior, baby, you better you better be Mother Teresa. But I bet right. you even Mother Teresa had some shit going down. Right. Of course she did. She's human. Mother Teresa. You think Mother. Teresa was out there fucking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Most reason why I'm out there fucking. My eighth grade teacher, my eighth grade teacher was a nun. <laughs> On one of the last days of eighth grade, yeah. we're 13 years old. She goes, you guys are going to, you know, kids are going to go out there into high school now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there may be decisions that you're faced with. Um and you know like just be careful and you know you know uh, all the things that we've learned and she goes you know when i was she goes because when i was my the summer of my uh year uh my eighth grade into my uh, uh, you know freshman year high school i i was i got pregnant with a child and i had to give up that child and then i became a nun and we were like yo whoa sister margaret was out there sister margaret was out there Fucking Love. bro, and she had a, a nun who had a baby and did told us on the last day. Oh wow! One of the I, last days. Of I didn't know grade. you could do that. What do you mean? I didn't know you could like have a, you know, get pregnant and then become a nun. I didn't. I don't remember the rules. I know. Imagine like <laughs> imagine like on her nun on her nun interview, like her she goes with her friend and then they ask her. They ask they ask Sister Mark like if you ever had any sexual intercourse and Sister Mark goes no and her friend goes she line. <laughs> 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 That'd be hilarious. She passes with flying colors. She gets an A plus. It's like a hundred questions, <laughs> and then they're like, "My God, yeah. you, are, you are saint worthy." Yeah. One last thing. Yeah. Have you ever had intercourse? And then she's she goes, like, "What do you mean by intercourse?" Be she goes, "I never." Oh, she goes, "Listen, never vaginally, but I have done anal." Is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Nuns That's fine. do not need to be virgins. Vatican oh. announces that Pope agrees. Holy brides of Christ can have sex and still be married to God. That's a weird wait, thing wait, to wait, call them, the holy wait, brides they, of Christ. Wait, they, they have to be celibate when they're a nun. Yes, but yes, once you take that last nun vow. So any woman could become a nun at any time. My friend, actually. What about men? I think priests. Do priests have to have sex? I actually have a friend, okay? I won't name his name. I actually want to name his name because this is, and this is like clerical celibacy is a requirement in certain religions that some are all members of the clergy be unmarried. Clerical celibacy also requires abstention from deliberately indulging in sexual thoughts and behavior outside of marriage because these impulses are regarded. Yeah, if you're a uh, priest, you can have nocturnal emissions. That's, that's wild. That's impossible. It's, you're it's, going it's, biologically against your literal ke chemistry. Uh, biological, like you can't. That's crazy. You, uh, uh, you mean to tell me that no priest has a wandering thought about something sexual? Uh, they, they have, have to. to. And if they do, they just... Free Forgiveness. I personally think there is one hundred percent a connection. I don't know what it is between the, all the you know child of sex course. things that happen with priests and the fact that they have it's to be suppression. celibate. It's all suppression, yeah, babe. Yeah, yeah. So they're part of the incel community. They are oh, priests. Yeah, priests are incels. Priests are ISIS. Yeah. Yep. Um, no suppression network. No suppress. <laughs> no suppression network this is where is we're going to put here. the merch. Allow thoughts. Um, a pre. Um, um, but a, a f my friend was saying. No, he's a Italian American guy, lives in Brooklyn. He said he said sex with many Hasidic Jewish women. That's what he says. And nuns write about their before right before they're about to take their final vows. Right before graduation. They just want to get a few just during in. Late registration. So he said he would Google yeah. convents. In the New York Get, Stop I, it. Stop it. I swear. Stop it. I swear he said this. He would he, Google 
is tr- remember wedding crashers he's cruising convents yes remember remember in, remember in wedding crash because i he told me this in, when we, we saw the movie wedding crashers together in wedding crashers when will ferrell goes like to funerals and all that he goes i do something similar oh well, the guy, he's like ma Milo. yeah, yeah we went character? to yeah yeah we went to applebee's after we saw wedding crashers in fresh metal he shout out it. fresh metals queens and, <laughs> oh my God. And, and, and 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 that's the movie. right next to the hooters right yeah, next yeah, to yeah. the hooters and we went to the applebee's because the, the hooters was too long of a wait so and 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 when we tried to get into the hooters my friend was going uh, 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 so we could they wouldn't let us in <laughs> so so we go and then he says he goes you know that that movie was great whatever we're talking he goes i'm it i do similar stuff that will ferrell and we said you go to funerals to have sex with women he goes no no, no. he goes you know nuns a lot of times nuns when they become nuns he goes they're a vow of celibacy doesn't start to the day they take they you know they get the oath or whatever so she he's like if you go to like where these nuns are like a week or two before they all want to fuck no I, that's what, exactly God, what he said it, to me why have we never heard of that i mean this kid maybe he's a genius this oh kid. my god yeah. and he's had sex with tbd nuns he said tbd nuns and multiple hasidic jewish women he said you go to the hasidic jewish well, what does the hasidic jewish women have to do because he's his whole thing was like the more religious you are the more you suppress it that's who he would but are they are hasidic jewish women not supposed to have sex no you can only have sex with hasidic jewish men just like my aunt who worked in a hospital in brooklyn in a predominantly hasidic jewish area said hasidic jewish men far and away number one would come in with sexually transmitted diseases because they would have sex with prostitutes they just hide it and pay extra so that's the they thing in sin. they hide it they hide it when they, yeah they, i don't know what i was doing with this um <laughs> they, they, i was gonna i was gonna yeah they, they i'm like i know you got herpes under your hat <laughs> um, wow see look the secret sex lives of nuns whoa. no this is a this is a thing that's out there man that's wild. breaking the habit that's what the name of the article is <laughs> oh my God. i'm gonna warn you this gets dark this gets, gets dark really okay dark. well oh, listen really? this is hey babe this is what we do <laughs> all right um what uh where do we put on my readers there you go it's not just lesbian love. Nuns commonly fall in love with their priests or parishioners. We are all bound by the vow of celibacy, but we are also guided by human nature. Uh, sex is a natural urge for women, too. Sure it is. Pope, Fr- Pope Francis admitted earlier this year, for the first time ever, that the clerical sexual abuse of nuns by priests and bishops was a far bigger problem than the church previously had conceded. What? Some sisters, he said, have been kept as sex slaves, suffering years of unthinkable abuse. Did is you ever- this a credible... No, did you ever see that documentary on Netflix, The Keepers? No. The Keepers, it's about, it's, it, watch it. It's about the Baltimore, local Baltimore clergy uh, and a nun who gets killed, um, uh, murdered, the whole time she was being abused sexually by these priests and the priest was abusing kids and it was like a whole abuse factory. Uh, it's, a, it's a documentary called The Keepers. Oh it's it's fascinating. I mean, it's horrible, but it's, it's interesting. Um, in February, the Vatican Magazine, Women Church World, published an expose that uncovered hundreds of stories of nuns. There's a Vatican magazine called Women Church World? Women Church World, WCW. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, expose that uncovered hundreds of stories of nuns being forced to have abortions and in some cases secretly raising their children in nunneries and pretending they were orphans. Buddy, I'm telling you. A nunnery? Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know nothing Y'all about don't know. This. What There's you know a lot of nunneries? stuff that happens in, in religious, by the way, T.T. Jerry. Go back one Go back one thing. Yeah. T.T. Jerry, continue. Go ahead. The, the entire editorial staff of the magazine, Women Church World, uh, quit a few weeks after the issue came out because what they described as ambivalence about the problem among the men of the church. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I know. I, I've, never, I've never heard this. I, listen, sometimes with religion, not, this is not a blanket statement. <laughs> sometimes with religion, it's, you know, because of this suppression, like T.T. Jerry told told me when he was in prison, I said, what group of people like would, you know, like, like I said, would every prisoner you s- serve time with or that, you know, you knew of would uh, eventually at least um, one, would they always at least one time engage in a sexual act? One time he said a big percentage of them. Yes. At, at one point in their prison, sin, if it was over a certain amount of years, they would absolutely do it because he said, you just, it's human nature. You just do it. I said, who was the most? He goes far and away. The Muslims, he goes, the Muslim inmates would go to to gay sex acts immediately and i was like really he said every prison i went to that would be that was the group that i would say they did the most sex stuff with guys muslims that's what he's in prison i'm not saying outside experience was that's what his experience was. why do you think that is he said this is his he said because i think that they have to suppress it so much on the outside that on the inside but do they i thought muslim men could be put like uh, polygamy could they? Can you be polygamous? 
Uh, can you be a polygamist? Maybe I'm wrong. I, mean, I know, I know Mormons can. I don't know. <laughs> Traditional Sunni and Shia Islamic martial jurisprudence allows Muslim men to be married to multiple women. Wow. That's not... Okay. Well, also... Aren't they promised like virgins in the afterlife? Like a lot of them. That's why, like your, your wife ever catches you cheating, you just go praise be to Allah. <laughs> Allah willed it. <laughs> That's what I would do. I should have let you know that. Uh, yeah. just, just last week I converted. I converted. Um, uh, speaking of gay Muslim sex, speaking super of, massive black gay, holes. Were, oh, I was gonna say. Sorry. Speaking of gay Muslim sex, we're gonna be in Nashville tomorrow night. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. And I think there's still a little bit of tickets left. But yes. the gay Muslim sex. Yeah. Yes, we, Christy and I will be at the Ryman Theater tomorrow. night. Night, babes. That's it's what Thursday, it is. Thursday tomorrow. It's Friday. We're there at the rhyme. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a humdinger of a if show. You're a Muslim man and a gay man. We open up. Um, it's it's like a. It's a social. It's a social. It's a, it's a it's a comedy club, but it really is a social. It's a social. So we're gonna have fun there. And, and then, uh, uh, yeah, that's gonna then, be good. And then you're going to Chattanooga the next day. The next day, Saturday. I'll be, this Saturday. I'll be in Chattanooga at the Tivoli, babes. And then, and that Saturday, I'll be in the Nashville Predators game. Oh yeah, that's I'm gonna right. go. Look for him in the, in Bridgestone. Look for me in the Bridgestone Arena. Yeah. Um, I'm pulling up to a Bridgestone <laughs> Arena with Goodyear tires. What can you do? Coinbase. You know me. I use Coinbase all the time. It's the only place I do my crypto stuff. I I love Coinbase. I look it on my phone every day. Uh, you know, Bitcoin's been a little volatile right now, but Coinbase is just come. I just Coinbase is the best, most user friendly app. I've tried other cryptocurrency apps. Oh, that's good to know because seriously, I, I Coinbase haven't is, dabbled yet, and I am crypto curious. It, it is. It is. Listen, we're, sometimes we're all a little crypto curious. It's something that we live through. And I think Coinbase, uh, it, it lit I've checked all these other apps. Truthfully, it's it's the by far the most user friendly app. You can buy, sell, trade. Has all the up to date Coinbase uh, 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 crypto prices and stuff. And uh, it's also I also I didn't know this, but they do offer portfolio management and protection on Coinbase. So oh, I didn't know that. that right? That's huge. Yeah, that's so you could talk to somebody. For me, I, I have a very diversified portfolio, but it is yet to have uh, crypto in it. Right. And I'm looking to dip a toe now. Honestly, instead. if you don't have a little bit of crypto through Coinbase next week, don't even talk to me. Okay. Uh, Coinbase could offers it be a trust in <laughs> could it be you? Coinbase offers if you don't know if you know what we're talking about, you, you, know, know, if you, you know, know, you know, you know. Coinbase offers a trusted and easy to use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. Whether you're looking to diversify, just getting started, or searching for a better way to access crypto markets, start today with Coinbase. For a limited time, new users can get ten dollars in free Bitcoin when you sign up today at coinbase.com slash hey babe. Yes. Yeah. Sign up at coinbase.com slash hey babe for ten dollars in free Bitcoin. This offers for a limited time only, so be sure to sign up today. And just go do it. Go to coinbase.com slash hey, babe, because that $10 in free Bitcoin could literally be worth a million dollars in five years. Yeah. You just don't know what the hell. If, if it you, explodes. Crypto. If you did this a few years ago, you would now own Apple. You do, Exactly. Yeah. If you're carrying a credit balance month after month, it, it can feel like you're in a never-ending cycle of debt with no end in sight. Upstart can help you make that final payment so you can get ahead. Uh, whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff debt. Rather than looking at credit score alone, Upstart considers other factors like your income, current employment, and credit history to find you a smarter rate for your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash heybabe. That's upstart.com slash hey babe don't forget to use our url to let them know we sent you loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application upstart.com slash hey babe super massive black holes will smash into each other and warp space and time scientists warn now pimp had a very interesting theory he thinks that all because the thing is with nuclear weapons is yes we've dropped two nukes on japan right that happened that was the only time in history but we've uh, set off so many nukes to detonation and testing right. sites. The nuclear energy, Pim feels, could be warping space and time. And, like, there's, like, he, th he thinks, like, it's not all... Like, we're not in the right time right now. It's all got warped from the nukes. Do we do we believe that? There's, like, a space-time continuum? There has to be. Yeah, there has to be. There's quantum mechanics. You ever look at that? Co yeah, quantum Can you physics, explain it yeah. to me, though? Does anybody know what it is, the space-time continuum? Or you can't even begin to explain? Uh, but is, it's 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 just high theory, is it not? Or is it, like... But what is it? I don't understand. So there's... there's yeah, what... Explain I don't even me. know what... Do you quantum know what it is? Quantum mechanics, I, I, I have to brush up on for sure. Okay, so the space-time continuum... It's because space consists. By the way, homeless pimp, if he puts himself on camera, he's dressed like Peter Pan. Um, and, I, <laughs> and I like it. Peter, uh, because space consists of three dimensions and 
Time is one-dimensional. Space-time must therefore be a four-dimensional object. It is believed to be a continuum because so far, as we know, there are no missing points in space or instance in time, and both can be subdivided without any apparent limit in size or duration. So it actually made me understand it less. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't know what what you just said. I I'm actually went backwards now. Because space consists of three dimensions and time is one dimension. Okay. That... There's four dimensions. Oh, Th- therefore, space, space time must be, therefore, a four dimensional object. It's believed to be a continuum. Well, space is, I mean, time is continual. Yeah, I don't know. This is above my pay grade. Really? Something that breaks the space time continuum actually exists, back to the future ish. And they are called black holes. When something gets sucked into a black hole, don't I know it, just as it crosses the the even horizon. Isn't that supposed to be the event horizon? They f- fucking idiots. The even horizon. From an external point of view, time will stop for that object. Okay. Pimp, do you get it? I don't understand what space or time is. A black hole is something where matter and and matter ceases to exist, right? Mm-hmm. Like so like you it's like just you just dissolve. Zone. I guess it's just a dead zone. I heard that the key to space exploration is using black holes and wormholes and breaking space-time continuum. Like, that's what they think advanced races can do. This, that is, w- this is a black hole here. Okay, a black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. This can happen when a star is dying because no light can get out. People can't see black holes. Now, my question is, is the black (coughs) hole a place in space where gravity pulls so much that not even light can get out? Do I still have to wear a mask and do six feet distance? Uh, I mean, COVID, depends on the region. COVID is still very much a question mark. Got it. So I would say, if you want to be ultra careful, then mask up if you're going in a black six hole, feet, even okay. in the black hole. Yeah. You know what's something that's interesting that, like, you know, you know me, I love, I love history, and and you know, like the greatest thinkers, like the Elon Musks and Stephen Hawkins, and you know, uh, uh, all these people, the Steve Jobs of of the day, Tom Greens, the Tom Greens, <laughs> um, in Genius. in. Genius. The Kanye West yeah. of our day. They, like in the 13th and 14th century, those equivalents of those thinkers thought the earth was flat. Yeah. Thought, um, you know, the the, the sun revolved around the earth. Yeah. And this was top stuff. Yeah. So they were dodo birds. They were dodo birds yeah. looking back. So even our thinkers now, yeah. it, it's just the way it is. Yeah. 100, 200 years from now, they're going to think. They're going to be dodo birds. When Lewis and Clark, when <laughs> Lewis and Clark, you know, the expedition in the 1800s, Thomas Jefferson, President TJ, was the one who signed off on that. They believed, because Americans had never been west of whatever it was, Ohio. Sure. They believed, they truly in their hearts believed they were going to find dinosaurs when they went west. That was the president of the United States thought that. And he was not, you know, he was, he was a dodo bird well, to, a, to half the country. Yeah, what a goofball. What a goofball. So my, and that wasn't that long ago. That was like 200 years ago. Right. So my thing is like this quantum mechanics thing that we're coming up with, these, this, something may be very explainable. Like they're going to look at Elon Musk like what a blubbering idiot yeah. 200 years from now. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That is nutty. Yeah, it's nutty, nutty. When I start to Hope think you're not about allergic. this stuff. Yeah, when I start to think about this stuff. How does this have zero count? calories and it's got and it tastes like a tangerine and a wild strawberry tell me how i think that they put, seriously I, let's take a look tell I me how it, how, how is flavors. it possible how do they do it uh ingredients carbonated mineral water fine natural flavors what does that mean though that's it because a strawberry a strawberry has a calorie this says tangerine and wild strawberry it's 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 i don't know how they do it Zero. Maybe there's not enough calorie. Wow, well, no calories. I don't know. <sighs> Pellegrino Essenza. I, the Italians figure out a way. Yeah, they do. Okay. I, I, that's my favorite. Uh, st- this is the good one. Yeah, that's my favorite seltzer, by the way. No, the Pellegrino seltzer. And also, favorite. guys, I've been forgetting to bring your Christmas presents in for months. Damn it. Do you want them? I have them with me. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, anyway, when I Hell think about yeah. this stuff, I get crazy, 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 crazy depressed. Me too. I'm like, we are just here for a blip. A blip. We think the world revolves around us. It so doesn't. And every time I remember that, I get sad. And like, we're not going to know our kids, kids, kids. No. We're going to be like thinking back to the history books. We're going to be nothing. We're no. going to be a footnote in history if yeah. that. If that. Our kids will never know this world. Our kids, kids, kids. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's terrible. And also, what is it going to be like? Like, we. Life is going to go on for so much longer than we're here, and we'll never get to know the answers to what it was. 
Merry no Christmas. Any, no will any, <laughs> <laughs> no will anyone at any time yeah. of the future future. Right. It's depressing, man. Bring him in. Here, Merry Christmas. With that Whoa. on that note. Yeah. I love the bag. Here we go. Grocery store bag. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh the f- the photo of Joe falling asleep dressed as Batman. It's a photo. <laughs> It's a photo of Joe DeRosa falling asleep at our uh, the Halloween uh, walk we did, the Halloween parade. It's hilarious, and because it's been in Pimp's car so long, it smells like weed and vape. Yeah, it, yeah it's probably. it's it smells yeah, it smells like a lens. <laughs> that is this is classic, oh God, Pimp. His eyes are wait, just and the right there's more. Across. His glasses are sideways. Wow, for your kids, man. Elf oh on the my shelf. God, as I was to say, is that oh is this the goosebumps? My God, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude, Delilah is gonna cry. What is that? What is this? Delilah's gonna lose her freaking mind with that. Pull the string on the back. This is this is terrifying. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? It's a reference to Goosebumps. I thought it scared the kids. It would scare the well. Tristan's gonna love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. <laughs> and then Sal in the pocket. Have some of Pellegrino. Yours. Oh, he has a gift too. In the pocket of your hoodie. Okay. This right. is this is scary. Right. Here, hold on. I'll, I'll get it off for you. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> there you go. No. <laughs> How did you get this? Who made this? The IKEA bucket hat. No, they sell it at IKEA. <laughs> I don't. I forget where it's from. It's ma- it is. It's it's made at IKEA. <laughs> they make it out of their own out of their own bags. I'm a big champion of these bags. You know that? Yeah, and they make a. And did you know they had a bucket hat? Yeah. I didn't know. I told you about these, right? Was yeah, yeah. Moving? yeah. Yeah. Buy the bags for a buck. Yeah, player. Wow. Talking to Mike. Talking to Mike. I'll tell him. I like it, dude. How do you like me now? How do you like me oh now? Oh my god, I'm go- I'm I'm taking a vacation today. I'm bringing this with me. <laughs> Bring it with you. No, dude, that's perfect. See, I love Pimp is a very thoughtful guy. This is dope. Pimp's I love a this. thoughtful Christmas. You're a very thoughtful gift giver as well. Thank you very You're much. You're a very thoughtful gift giver, and Pimp is a very thoughtful gift gift giver. I am not. I just throw money at you. <laughs> I throw money at you. That's. <laughs> but I should be more thoughtful. Even Jazz was like, "You got. You know, like I know you're giving them a nice amount of money, but like you should just think about something." I'm like, I, it makes me too nervous because I think I'm going to get something wrong, and I know money is always right. Right. That's true. You can't go wrong with money. That's yeah. True. Yeah. This is. Did you, Joe, know about this? No. Oh, that's so funny. I was just hoping you guys could show up for a sandwich and matching. Oh, oh, 100% without, without, without we are. Without a doubt. Without oh, 100% a doubt. we are. Yeah, I love it. We should put those up. We should put those up. Sleepy DeRosa. Sleepy DeRosa. <laughs> Sleepy DeRosa. Let's just get them up. We'll get that, a- should we name my special Sleepy DeRosa? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Those might sell like gangbusters. They Hell yeah. Laugh. So all them, uh, our solo, mar- wait, today's March 10th? Yes. Yeah. So tomorrow at Nashville in the Ryman, all of our Hey Babe merch will be available for sale for the first time ever. For the first tomorrow time in ever, folks. And then right after that, it's going up on the website. This is my solo stuff. It's go to SavileCanoComedy.com for this right now. Amazing. Yeah. But uh, Wow. Yeah, baby. We finally Dun- got the merch coming out. Dead. Kanye West. Let's not He it. isn't dead, but he wrote a poem that said dead. Let's read it. And they put, the New York Post put an article, Kanye West dead, which is, I mean, so... <laughs> I want to punch him in the face. Yeah, for that's that. tasteful. But um, it's not. Ta- Let's say, listen. Can you zoom in? Yeah, I have to save it. Um, I watched the Kanye doc. I finished it last. Me night. too. I lo- I. It's, that's something else. That's something 20, else. 20 years of access behind the scenes like that. Yeah, and more. I think, and I think you know, because at first there were parts of it where I was like, why? Do- I don't care. Even though I know she, it's great. I don't care about Cootie's family. I right. don't care about Cootie's kids. I, mean, God bless, I don't God care about Cootie them at all. Daughter. It's like, it's beautiful, beautiful life. I right. get it. But it's like, really just show me more Kanye. Yeah. But by the third one, I kind of got it. I was like, you know, this guy was embarked in a documentary for him 20 years ago. He barely sees him. It's like, you know, like he wanted to, hey, at least if I can't get all this Kanye footage, like I'll put my own family in it. And then it's, you know, nice that his father was a photographer. I, I liked it. But the first episode, I was like, I don't want, I don't need to see Cootie's kids. Cootie, yeah, yeah. But, but I, I do I, like Cootie. I, I do like Cootie. I'm Cootie's so, a stand-up comic. He, he, oh, yeah, see, they showed that. That's it. how he met D-Ray Davis at, at, oh, uh, at no the Laugh shit. Factory, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, Cootie, uh, I, do, I did like start talking like Cootie after a while, though. Yeah, he talks nice <laughs> and slow. I did, yeah. yeah. He's like, Kanye didn't know what he was going to do. No, he doesn't. But that's when we went to meet him. But he doesn't say it like that. He says Kanye. Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye. He's like, I guess that's what a man does for his kids. <laughs> Years later, I saw Kanye. 
And he was, uh, you know, I, I yeah. just was like, I was like listening. I'm like, I wish Cootie could just read me the phone book. Cootie's the best. <laughs> Should we get Cootie yeah. on the pod? Let's get Cootie on the pod. Did uh, you guys see that? Cootie, Kanye? you know, Cootie and the Blowfish. There you go. Oh. Kid Cootie. Kid Cootie. Oh. Yeah, Kid Cootie. Who also was in the documentary? Kid Cootie and the Blowfish. Oh, that's Kid Cootie. He, he was. Kid Cootie. Yeah. So, yeah. Did you guys see that uh, before the documentary came out, Kanye was demanding that they redo the voiceover and Drake does it? No, yeah, no. He, he tried to demand it. It didn't play out. Well, so, do you is, think Cody and Kanye are not on good, Kanye not on good terms? Um, I don't know. I don't know their relationship. What, what was your takeaway from the doc? Was it pro? It was just. Was it? Was it show all, tell all, and you make your own decision? Was it in Kanye's favor? Was it like? He, here's my I honest. Mean, I think they just really showed it, and you could make up your own mind. It was pretty. F- my, my honest opinion of it was is I I, I really enjoyed it, <laughs> but I liked episode one. Better than two, better than three. I thought it got progressively worse. Yeah. Um, but maybe that's because all the footage they had in two and three, most of the footage they had in two and three is stuff I'd seen, seen. before. Yeah, so we'll episode it. one was amazing to see him. What was amazing is like, see you know, when he shows Pharrell and, through yeah. the wire yes. and he re- genuinely runs out of the room or lyrics to songs like, you know, it all falls down and he's like, yeah. and he's rapping and nobody cares. And you're like, you almost want to be like, you idiots. Like, right, right, this right. is like, how do you not understand? But right. that's a very common thing. It's like, you know, people want to yell at like you know GMs for oh how could you not draft Michael Jordan first? Like you don't because you don't know, right. you know what I mean? Like Hindsight. it's such a yeah. crapshoot. But with Kanye, I mean to me, and again maybe it's biased because I'm such a fan of his. I've always been a fan of Kanye West. Maybe it's because you know when I was watching, I was like, how can you not see that that's talent? Like I'm a yeah. nothing nobody. I can see that he's talented yeah. and doing things different because even the what style of his rap, he was never rapping about drugs and violence and girls. Yeah. His raps were about completely different things and I'm like, why don't you want to take a chance on this guy? Right, right, right. He's a visionary for sure. But I always like Kanye too. It is it is crazy to see some of the footage now because he. it's like, I don't know. It's I don't know who he has close to him enough, probably no one, right, that can, I don't know who his closest people are because it does look like at times he feels like a little bit like lost, man. Yeah. It's like when he starts like getting into like this whole thing, it almost feels like he's so isolated in his thoughts yeah. that his perception of reality is slightly warped. But then he toes the line between being confident and a visionary right. and being like, listen to me, you won't shut me, you you know, you can't silence me, which is all well and good too. But then it's like there's this little this little turn, and then it's like he starts like kind of talking about things that are very disjointed, and you're like, well, where's he going with this? Right. And it's like you know, it's just like he's talking above everyone's heads. Like, no, I know he's got a um, he's got a. <laughs> Didn't it feel like real life Entourage? It felt like Entourage makes it look like it's fun, but this this is what it is. Yeah. Well, being that that last one of the last scenes of the show when Kanye was like, "Yo, I have the money, I have everything," he's like, "I still am suicidal." Like yeah. he said, he yeah. he was like, "I thought it would go away. I have everything." He said that he was like, I got. He the b- pushed everyone away. He pushed everyone. He had to be on an island, right? To be, the, it's crazy, man. I know having. It's having, almost like, what is he chasing anymore, though? Because like when he was younger, you saw what he was chasing, and then he achieved it, achieved it, achieved it. He just then in fashion, achieved it, achieved it, achieved it, and now he's worth billions of dollars. He's at the very, 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 very top. It's like I don't know. It's like what else is there for him to chase? You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I I agree, and I, I you know I, I found myself at times <laughs> being like you know I, listen, I'm just a big. Kanye fan, so I I liked him throughout, but I could t- like I was telling you, I was watching it with with Jerry, you know, who did a lot of time in prison. He was like, I'm telling you, I'm looking at this guy. He's gonna wind up dead or in prison. This guy has got dead or in jail written all over him. I said he's a billionaire. He goes, dead or in jail. It's a mindset. He kept saying it's a mindset, and he has it. Wow. I was like, really interesting. He goes, absolutely. He goes, the fact that he has a god complex, that's why everybody's in prison thinks they're god. Really? Uh, he said that that's what it is. That everybody thinks they're the shit. In jail, and they were fucking in jail. I was like, interesting. I hope that doesn't happen. I mean, like, literally. He frames it that he's a vessel for the word of God, but it also feels like he yeah. is, feels like he is like a savior himself. But like, he, I, he might say himself. I don't even know. like, like, it was cool, like, when is that, that scene in Madison Square Garden when he's doing the listening party for Life of Pablo? Like, yeah. all that stuff is like, you could just see, like, what a genius he is. Yeah, yeah. Like, a genius, and then he just goes on these rants and spirals out. Yeah. But it's like, un. Like I don't think it's you can't really That's what doubt happened to all those painters and shit and all those people they do have mad geniuses in the past like artists that were just yeah. I mean like, cutting their ears off and stuff you know what Van I mean? Go baby yeah you guys want to see his new player oh That's here we go it? yeah we did um on on That's uh, the whole thing yeah you could see my review of it at youtube.com slash Christy comedy coming out next week we did a whole review of it and it is fascinating <laughs> good I'm I'm sorry so so you can't get his album anywhere but that little thing it's like an NFT. 
Yeah, and it's in the shape of a communion wafer. That's what that is. Do you do this? Looks more like an, an Advil to me. <laughs> so wait, so, so <laughs> when the music is playing, see those four line, uh, line. Yeah, yeah, you can just play with those and mute the parts of the beaters or vocals. And, uh, that, it's I actually pretty that. dope. That's pretty yeah. sick. But I have a question. So does this have memory on it, and you could put other songs on it? You no. can, and you can play around with other artists' songs, but it only had enough memory for one album at a time. I tried to put both of his albums on it, and it said only one album. So how much is this? That was $200. Wait, so this is a $200 player that only holds one album at a time. His album comes preloaded. Yeah. You could one. remove it if you want. Yeah. But it comes preloaded, so you're paying for the album and this little player. Where his singles will drop, because he's left Spotify and Apple. What do you mean, where they'll drop? That's where you can only hear Kanye's to. music from now on on this. But you mean that this is connected to a service that you could download his new stuff with this exact one? That's his Patreon. Right, so when yeah. he releases a new song... He's okay. going to hit there. Unless he's but gonna, get hit here how? They up they upload it to the, the website where you have to like update your player. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so you're just taking it off the internet. It's an interface, yeah. But... I thought it had limited range. It only holds a certain amount. So if he drops a new song... I have to delete another song. That seems like they didn't think that through. That's stupid. I, I like this cool where you could isolate like what, just the percussion, just the, the, just vocals, the bass, just the yeah. vocals. And then you can also you know chop and screw it and double speed it, slow it down. Interesting. And... <laughs> this has been Hey Babe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe.